I'm Sue Allen, and this is my art. My mother and grandfather were architects, and my sister and I both have degrees in architecture, different schools, even though we're twins. I did work for a year when I finally got a job in New York, but I knew I didn't want to spend the rest of my life in the city. I ended up in Stowe, Vermont, and cross-country ski bum for a year, and I met a couple who had a daughter my age who came back from college with a silkscreen frame. And uh, we thought, well, let's print something. And I liked it and I kept doing it. And I'm still doing it to this day, many years later. I had been doing holiday cards that were drafted and blueprint or sepia printed, because it seems to be in my blood a little. And uh, when I found this process, there's color involved. Something about it just piqued my attention that I wanted to do it again. But it took moving to uh, Portland a few years later and taking some classes that they actually had in silk screening or screen printing that I felt confident to do original art. A more limited edition, a fine art, archival paper, all of that, and signed and numbered. All during my uh, growing up, I was interested in photography and my father had some cameras that I enjoyed, like a Leica. So I've always had uh, an interest in just taking pictures. And what I do now when I take pictures, I call them snapshots, because that's the way I do it. But a lot of them are very kind of graphic oriented. So I think the architecture lends itself to a certain sense of graphics. Screen printing is an interesting art form, very step-oriented. It's a stencil process. Each color is printed separately after each layer dries and you have to make a new screen. You can overlap colors with transparent inks and create other colors. So there is some thoughtful process that goes into making a final item. This is what gray over blue would look like. And there's a little bit of overlap where it's a little diff darker color in the middle. So then I do a third color. The third color and positive was, was going to be a brown, and it was brownish. But when you print the, the three together, then you get a kind of a darker color there. And you have to design all this in when you do your positive. And last but not least, we had a yellow color. And the final looked like this. So vacuum table, screen, silk screen uh, frame on a hinge, up and down. First thing I have to do is register my paper to what would be in the screen. And the screen would have something in it. And I'm going to show this because this shows you what this screen would look like. As I have my paper and I have the positive that I have made for that screen on the paper where I want it to be printed. And I will line it up with the image in the screen until I have it where I want it. Once I have it where I want it, I hold it in place for a moment. I'm going to register it now. Very simple. You lower this, you check it out. Once I have it checked out and I know it's where I want it, I'm ready to go. So it's just a matter I will put ink here. Pull it across, bring the ink back here. Turn it off. And 
put it on the rack. Do the next one. Registered. And the landscape and Mount Hood are a uh, never-ending inspiration. So a lot of my work is based in that kind of format of doing things that appeal to me.